Good morning, Al. <laughs> I actually do do that. I actually start like that. So the first thing I do when I wake up is I check my sleep score. I sleep with an aura ring. What did I get last night? I don't know. I'm nervous. Do I think it was a good day? Uh, it was okay. I'm gonna be like 75% of me today. <laughs> if I have really good sleep, then I give my all. If I don't, then I kind of take it easy. Sleep is really important to me. This bed is one of those beds where like you don't move and it makes you snore really loud. So if I don't stretch, I feel like I'm really, really stiff. So I like to stretch like this. I stretch this, and I stretch like this, and then I hang upside down. I love this. Oh, and I crack my spine. I feel so good. I also feel like it helps blood flow to the brain. Can I flip over, you think, or do you think I'll like get hurt? <laughs> Let's try it. Most of the time, I like to wake up really early. I like to wake up at 6 a.m. and I do a little bit of yoga, but when I don't do that, I like to do a little bit of stretching because I tend to get very tight in my neck and my shoulders. Um, I have a high stress job, <laughs> so I always need to loosen that up a little bit. I'm gonna do like some back rolls really quickly, and I always like to do this. So right my feet and just. Just a little bit. If Nora's here with me, I make her do it with me too. Actually, whoever's here with me, I make them do it. Oh my god. You hear that crack? Oh, it feels so good. Because that's what I was hearing in my head, and I always just do this too. After I do my stretching, I grab what I need to grab, which for me is just my silk bomb and my phone, my telephone, and I'm going to move throughout the room. I will tell you guys, we actually just moved into the house and we wanted to create a space that was like really serene, really peaceful. And if I wake up early enough, I will spend a good like 20 minutes in the room. I like to start off feeling like I am ready to take on the day, no matter what happens. So this area is kind of important. This is our mini bar that we set up in our bedroom. Sometimes I'll have tea, sometimes I'll just have hot water first thing in the morning. I feel like it's a good detox. It makes me feel cleansed and it makes me feel like I'm ready to go. I love dark chocolate. We have this like everywhere in the house. I love it so much. Um, and then I also have my face rollers because I, I, sometimes I will wake up with a really puffy face. Like I look like massively like, like flat, like somebody like pancaked my face. So I love face rollers. I actually have some that I keep in the fridge. Um, this one actually has a little bit of a metalized tip, so it gives you a little bit of a cryo um, kind of effect, which is really great for your skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these this morning. You guys can follow me. It's being day. All right. So skincare first thing in the morning. I can't do anything until I brush my teeth. Like literally, I can't do anything. I can't think, I can't talk. Um, I feel very unfresh until I brush my teeth, and I did it before you guys got here because I get in there, I'm like, uh, like, it's it's not cute. So now we're gonna move straight to skincare. So I'm gonna wash my hands. I like, I'm a, I'm a, a germaphobe. I don't like any type of grease or oils, um, even natural oils, on my hands whenever I am going to do my skincare. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I. And pretty OCD with the way I like things displayed. I don't like to see a lot of things. It was like really neat, and then when you open a cupboard, it's a little bit messy. <laughs> I got messy in cupboards too, so don't worry. One thing I realized when I moved was I just had too much stuff. So I got rid of most of it. So I'm gonna grab the things that I'm gonna start my day with. I love to start my day with Yoko. I use it about five times a week in the mornings. Skin Suticles is the improved oil. Live for this. Um, and our Honey Bomb, which is a new product that just launched, and it is in my love to swear. Um, and I'm also gonna grab uh, my Dr. Loretta Tightening Eye Gel because I also need that as well. I am going to start with Yoglo. I live for Yoglo. I actually, my skin, I feel like is very textured just naturally. I think there's a lot of renewal happening all the time. And if I don't, if I don't exfoliate, I feel like my skin just looks really rough. And when I put makeup on, you can see it. I don't shy. So I put a lot of this product on. I go through these bottles like you wouldn't believe. Oh, I don't want to get. Oh, there goes my nose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Now that I got my hair back, I'm going to go ahead and start glowing it up. I really want to get around my cheese on. I feel like that's where I always have like the most dead skin. I like to do my lips too. And in between the brows. It's always one of my favorite areas. All right, now I'm going to rinse. 
put banana to the top of it. Right. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse my face, removing all the yolk though. My face feels so much fresher now. Now I actually started even shaving my brows, so I don't even tweeze them anymore. I actually prefer shaving them because I feel like it's just it's much better, it's healthier. I have a goatee. So I'm shaving my goatee. Get my mud back. And I like to shave my nose hairs because my husband, fun fact, has no hair. <laughs> and um, I'm really, really hairy. I feel like my biggest nightmare is like, you know, we get we get done making love or making out, whatever, and he looks up and there's like all these like cacti nose hairs growing in. So some people they like it and I think that's fine. You like it more power to you, but for me, I have like issues with it. I don't I don't like it. I don't I'm not I'm not into hair. So um, now that I finished that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and begin with my skincare. So I'm gonna start with really basic skincare. In the morning time, I really don't apply too many products. I really only go with my favorites. So Yellow Glow, um, SkinCeuticals, Ecrylic, we'll live for this stuff, it's so good. I'm just gonna drop a few drops on my face. I love this because I just feel like it actually makes my skin more clear, more beautiful. Um, I don't feel like I've been blessed with like perfect skin, like good skin, but you know, normal acne prone or rough texture skin, like normal skin. So I have been on a journey with my skin, which is why we really wish well. Um, I'm now going to use my favorite products in Fireball, which is the Honey Bomb Jelly Moisturizer. It was launched. I love it so much. You can see how beautiful it is. I'm going to use my nail. Do I feel like I've put nails before? Let me get one nail. And I'm going to use it as my spatula. And I'm going to go ahead and spread out my face. But it has like this really interesting texture, so it's really great for facial massage. This is when I actually start to do my facial massage. I like kind of like go through my fingers, like go like one, two. It goes up my clinker to my middle to my index to my middle and I just kind of massage. Ooh, so so good. There she is. I cannot mess around with what I put on my skin. I need to be very, very careful. So I'm just going to pull the a little bit of this Dr. Loretta Tiny Gel. And I don't rub my top. I used to rub, and I noticed that I have a lot of skin sagging now. Um, I'm wearing a lot of makeup for a lot of years. Maybe like 20 years now. Yeah. It's been a lot of tugging. I'm going to And then I start with putting them underneath my eye. And just pop them. I'm going to do the the eye too. I'm going to hold them right here. I'm going to hold them in there for a minute. I feel like when I first started my business, it was the longest time. I spent all my life doing everything for everyone. So I actually like to spend time doing things for myself. You know? like even if it's just like 15 minutes in the beginning of the day, 15 minutes at the end. It makes such a this is making my eyes water a lot. I'm not getting emotional talking about self love, although I will. But um, I feel like it's actually causing a lot of that puffiness to come out. So I feel like sometimes we put cool things around your eyes that kind of happens. I'm really into cryotherapy. I'm going to have some love therapy, cryofacials, all for it. I became really into it when I was in Finland. And I saw all, like, everyone in Finland had the most amazing skin. And I noticed that, like, it was so cold there. Everybody's skin was so even, and so I've been like obsessed with cryotherapy since then. I just feel like good now. I feel like that was like my skin coffee. Like that was like what I needed to start my day. Okay, so last step for skincare is applying my slip balm because this to me is like a treatment for your lips. I love it so much. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! It feels like so legit. That's what it feels like. Smokiness, smoothness, and like my lips like we're never ever shocked. I feel so energized now. I feel like my skin is like ready to go. My face is ready to go. I'm ready to go. So thank you guys so much for catching up with me and seeing the way that I start my day and making up with me today. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much, Elle, for having me. I'll see you guys next time.